I was born in Burkina Faso, which is part of uh, the Sahel. Uh, I've always been fascinated by that sort of environment, curious to see how plants and animals can cope in that sort of uh, extreme environment. The natural resources are depleting year after year or decade after decade. Some of the species are even disappearing because they could not regenerate after that drought spell. The zizifi you have already done? Yes. How many? How many kilos? Ah, that's good. It's a bit of sun. Since the last 15 years, I've been working at Kew and helping to collect uh, the seed from the dry lands. They got uh, the Millennium Seed Bank project, which was starting uh, you know, in the 2000. Uh, I was in charge of uh, the Africa program in, uh, at Q. In 2012, I started being interested in the Great Greenwald program. I realized also that they are missing some key component that would help for the restoration, which is the seed. And that's how we come up with the idea of having the transboundary project between Mali, Burkina Faso and Niger. I believe that for any restoration uh, program involving the community, we'll start with consulting those communities. It's really taking some time to talk to the community, to discuss with them, to know exactly what they're using the plant for. We have a, a full questionnaire where you can spend a day within the village talking to them, different groups, uh, women, uh, traditional healers, herders, farmers, everybody in the village to understand really what are they need in terms of plant. Si la population n'est pas impliquée, vous allez échouer. Mais quand vous allez impliquer la population du premier, de la première action jusqu'à la dernière, vous allez réussir parce qu'ils sentiront que c'est des actions qui sont les leurs. Ils sont acteurs et non observateurs. When we collect the, the data, we send the data to the national three seed centers, which we have helped to set up in different uh, places or in different countries. That information uh, is analyzed between the three seed center and the Royal Botanical Garden of Kew, and to set to come up with uh, the priority species that can fit the environment. Once we agree on the, the selected species to propagate, we do the seed collection. C'est beaucoup plus difficile pour la population, beaucoup, très, 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 très difficile parce que les rendements dont j'ai parlé ne suffisent pas pour nourrir la population. Beaucoup de gens ont quitté. On veut que la restauration des sols là continue parce que premièrement, il y a rien de plus Euh, profitable que de trouver des terres cultivables. Une fois les terres traitées là, ils sont fertiles. Les cultivateurs peuvent les utiliser pour cultiver et, et le rendement en récolte sera plus avancé. You can see uh, what the seed bank have prepared already, uh, close to 10 tons, uh, 10,000 you know, kilograms of seed. When we collect and prepare the seeds, and the seeds are now to be propagated in the field, uh, we have different techniques of soil preparation. Uh, for example, in the region here, uh, the traditional way of preparing the soil, the water harvesting, is to do that in the half moon. So they prepare that in the dry season, the community and the plot. Uh, so during the raining season, 
So you have the water that is captured there to give a better chance of the seedling to grow. So with that shape of the half moon, in the middle you have a, well, a, a hole where they will plant the seedlings that have been produced in the nursery. The second component is around the half moon. So around the half moon, that's where they will plant the grass species, which are mainly used for the livestock, which are the fodder species. Nous sommes inquiets parce que eh, la pauvreté s'accentue, la population grandit, les terres sont insuffisantes, l'alimentation est insuffisante, il n'y a pas de travail pour les jeunes, il n'y a pas d'embauche. Action contre la désertification est un grand projet eh, qui intervient dans notre commune il y a deux ou trois ans de cela et qui a fait un travail remarquable. On a récupéré pas mal d'hectares, de, des zones totalement dénuées, des zones arides. Aujourd'hui, il y a la paille. Aujourd'hui, il y a euh, l'herbe qui pousse. The pilot transboundary uh, restoration methodology is now being expanded through action against desertification, which is implemented by FAO, funded by uh, the European Union. Uh, in Africa, there are six countries uh, that are part of that program for the, the Great Green Wall. And with those six countries, for this year alone, we'll be restoring about 10,000 hectares. Le Niger, la dernière décennie, en fait, trois crises alimentaires. Donc, euh, euh, terre dégradée, c'est mauvaise récolte, euh, c'est aussi euh, une conséquence, chômage, et puis euh, immigration, et puis conflit euh, à l'accès des ressources. Donc, euh, je pense que ce projet-là euh, apportera la solution. Ouais, le phénomène de la désorganisation, je dirais que c'est l'un des problèmes majeurs du Niger comme l'ensemble des autres pays du Sahel. Il faut davantage renforcer, il faut davantage augmenter, parce que c'est comme si ça s'accentue. Et avec le phénomène de tous ces groupes de terroristes là qui existent, je crois qu'à notre avis, c'est important de donner des moyens financiers très conséquents pour également réduire cette volonté-là à la jeunesse qui est désœuvrée de partir rejoindre ces groupes terroristes. Donc je crois que c'est très important que ce soit pour le, le gouvernement qui continue à faire les efforts, mais aussi l'ensemble de la communauté internationale. Currently, the situation is not irreversible. It will require everybody to work together. So what we're seeing as a negative degraded land in the Sahel, we can transform that into a more prolific land for everybody in the Sahel.